Number three is what do you do when you have blogs at the bottom of page one and you want them higher? I have a blog for an affiliate site that ranks seven to eight for a big keyword. Is there anything I can do besides waiting? Yeah, there's a lot you can do, Muhammad. Um, I'll give you a couple quick fixes right now. Uh, but there's, I mean, there's so many things that you could do for that. Um, one is send traffic to it. You know, uh, I wouldn't, I'm not even going to recommend any of the spam traffic bots out there because they're just not working well at the moment. Um, but you could do stuff like send, uh, traffic from social media if you know how to do that, or you could, um, hire micro task workers, like go to microtaskworkers.com or microworkers.com, I think it is, or just search micro task workers in Google and go select one of them, uh, mechanical Turks, another one, something like that. And you can actually hire people to go search in Google and click on your link. And then that, that's, that's a real traffic signal. That's that absolutely will help. Um, uh, obviously you could do a, a drive stack an RYS drive stack. You could build more links to it. Um, one of the other things, press releases are working really, really well right now. So if you could figure out a, an angle to create a press release about your site, that, that particular link, uh, that page or post on your site, then that would also work. Um, something else you can do is add additional on page content. In other words, you can update that specific page with more content. Um, you know, add an update, uh, like an updated paragraph or something else on, onto the page to just kind of add additional relevancy to the page and something else that you can do on, on site, on the website itself is do additional, like create that as a category. If it's not already its own category, um, make that a category so that you can actually put like child posts underneath of it as supporting articles so that you essentially make that one post part of like the top of a silo or at least part of a silo that then you add additional supporting articles to that all interlink up to that one post, right? Especially if you're syndicating with a network, right? A syndication network, because each additional sub post that you um, publish to your blog, that's going to be interlinked up to that post that you're trying to push will end up going out across your network. So you get a bunch of internal links plus the external links from the branded network that are going to be pushing back to that one post. Okay. Those are just a couple big, uh, quick fixes. Any of you guys, I know you guys have some other suggestions. Yeah. Um, well, at some point, Mohammed, you, you do need to wait <laughs> because he, here's the thing. Yeah. Because, uh, you, you do all of these little tweaks, right? And sometimes what we do is, uh, we do a little tweak and then we have the exact opposite results that we would want. Right. So, so it plummets the, 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 the position goes down and that's, uh, uh, Google actually dangling the carrot saying, Hey, are you doing this manipulate whatever? And we usually rush to, you know, turn it back and whatever. So I would do everything that Bradley suggested one thing at a time to see what has the most impact on your, you know, on your rankings and then wait for a little bit and then implement the next thing and whatnot. Uh, SEO is a long term game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, if you, if you change like a, a million different things and then you go back and change another, you don't really know what's going on. At <laughs> Sorry, you don't really know what what created the good effect, so that you can do more of that. You know what I'm saying? So, 